you know, there's always a big lawsuit whenever a social worker um, has submitted a report or testified to something that is false. Um, generally, the three areas where there's lawsuits uh, against social workers are, number one, if they decide to detain your children without a court order or a warrant. Um, number two, if they, if the social worker, you know, lies on the witness stand or tells things that aren't true in social worker reports and files it with the court and those cause you harm and damage. Or number three, your children are um, physically or sexually or emotionally abused while in the foster care system. Unfortunately, that happens uh, more times than people think. Uh, I see, in my opinion, my personal and professional opinion, um, kids are removed from, you know, uh, parents in what probably is a, you know, marginal or close to marginal situation. And then they're placed in foster care. And they're placed in foster care under the assumption that the children are going to be safe in foster care. And that's a bad assumption. Um, I used to represent uh, a lot of foster parents who were being, um, basically, their license were trying to be taken away or suspended because of some type of physical, sexual, or emotional abuse against the child that was placed with them. And as a matter of fact, uh, when that happens, generally speaking, the juvenile judges don't know this. I'm not even sure the social workers know this. Um, but there are proceedings, legal proceedings in California under the Office of Administrative Hearings. And if you just go online to that website, you can see a lot of social worker hearings coming up every day. The state is trying to take their license or um, trying to suspend their license or put, their own, put them on probation. So there's a lot of things that happen in foster homes and, and we don't, uh, as a system, know because what happens in the Office of Administrative Hearings is not made public and it's not communicated, as far as I know, to juvenile court judges.